Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a new spread in my art channel to share and I'm working on a black background this time. I am playing in my fabric art journal. I made this a while ago and I will link you up to the process video in the top right corner info box. My pages have already some paint on it. It was some leftover paint from another project. I start by adding black gesso to my pages. I've dried the background with my heat tool and now I'm using a stencil from Stencil Girl together with some white acrylic paint. I'm using the Sennelier white acrylic paint because it's a heavy body paint and it gives a good coverage. I'm adding some more white paint to the left side of my double spread to balance out the page. I also add some white acrylic ink drops. Recently I really enjoyed playing with high contrasting colors, that means that I love to use black and white together and also a complementary colors, so I'm using the light blue this time together with a orange and I'm going to mix a white Sennelier paint with some green turquoise uh, Amsterdam paint and I also mix some white paint with a um, neon orange paint.
When I have leftover paint on my desk, I always pick another journal and put the paint to any of the backgrounds. I come back with a little bit more black gesso to blend everything together. I'm using the grungy circles to create even more interest and texture on the background. All stamps I'm using are from my own store. I'm running my own little rubber stamp company here in Germany. It's called Rubber Dance for the ones who are new to my channel. Um, I took over the company last year from Baby Lindahl from Norway. And I really enjoy pressing stamps and I love design new stamps and yes that's my passion and we are shipping worldwide from Germany and we make vulcanized red rubber stamps they are sold unmounted but they have a pretty sticky back so you can use them directly on an acrylic block But it's also really easy to mount them to clean cushion as you saw in the last stamp I've used. It's the vintage script stamp and it's one of the older ones so it's mounted to the cushion. And I also love to mount big stamps to clean cushion because I think it works easier with it. I've added some white splatters to my page to increase the interest and also to blend everything and now I'm adding some high contrast with some red acrylic ink splatters. While the background is drying I'm preparing my focal images. I'm using our doodle flower stamps and stamp them to watercolor paper. I used the Versa Fine Clear ink and I recently got this ink and I love it. It's so much better than the archival ink or the stays on because it gives you a perfect impression also on watercolor paper. This ink needs a little bit time to dry because it applies very thick. So I lay this aside and use our Mixer Sentiment stamp set on a piece of pattern paper and I stamp it as often as I could and cover up the whole piece and later I can use the words, cut them out and make a sentiment on my artwork. The ink is waterproof and I'm coloring in the flowers with watercolors. I'm using my Mijello Mission Gold watercolors because these are the best ones I have and I really enjoy playing with them. And I'm using a water brush from Arteza. They recently sent them to me and they are really gorgeous. They work perfectly and they also don't soak up any dirty water.
I am arranging my flowers to the page and I have cut a vase from a leftover background paper. I cut out some words from the sheet I've made before and arranged them to my page. That was my page for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope we see us next time. Bye!